Hello, Angela. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Uh, I am very well. And you? <laughs> I'm okay. Thank you. How was your day today? Excuse me? How was your day today? How was... Um, um, a lot of work. <laughs> but that's good. A lot of work is good. Yes, yes. All right. Let me see one thing. Hold on, please. Let me open the platform. Okay. okay, there's more people now. There's Claudia. Hi, Ronald. Hi, Alberto. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Hi. How was your day today, class? How was your day today? Anything special, anything different? Mm, pretty good. I mean, this is was we work. Uh, we, we had this kind of work, the agile, get agile methodology. Mm -hmm. We bring today and we close in next spring in, in the next 10 days so is the, i like it i mean before <laughs> i didn't have work like this before i mean this is really new for me something new okay. i i show that's good i mean something new yeah this is groom i think yeah it's groom oh, okay good Today, something strange happened in my house. My neighbor, the, my front door neighbor, she died. She passed away. Yes. It was very strange. She had a heart attack. How old was she? She was young, she was 24. Can you imagine that? 24. That's scary, that's scary. Yeah, it, it is scary because um, many people say that after the, after the, uh, after Very. the, no, after COVID, COVID leave, left a lot of, um, side effects do you know what is a side effect yeah but do you the side effect related to the vaccine right or just i don't know talking about the illness uh, i you know i i hear i hear two stories because i hear some people i know people that had covid and they never took vaccines after and they get effects and i know people that took the vaccines and never had COVID and they have effects. So I don't know. <laughs> like in my case, I, I was the type of person that I never get sick. Never, never. Maybe once a year after COVID, I get sick every month. So I don't know. Strange. Okay, uh, let me share my screen with you. Okay, you see my screen? Yes. 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 Good, thank you. Okay, so it says, yes, teacher. this is lesson one, lesson objectives. Uh, or the lesson objective is um, at the end of this class, participants will be able to use the verb followed by gerunds and infinitives. Okay, first we have to understand what is a gerund? I understand is when you add uh, ing to the to a verb, right? To the verb, exactly. That's a gerund. 
And what is an infinitive? That's when you use to instead of adding ing and yes. using the verb in, mm -hmm. in regular form or yes. base form. Infinitive is the is to and the verb. It's funny in Spanish people say, Hoy voy a ver el verbo to eat, to go, to yeah, but that's infinitive. Now, one thing for me is very strange. I I I never understand the name. You know, people ask me sometimes, teacher, but why why infinitive? And I say, I don't know. I don't know why it's called infinitive <laughs> because you know, to go, to eat. For example, present perfect. People say, teacher, but why present perfect? I don't know. That is the name of, of the grammar. Yes. Um, like in Spanish is, ¿Por qué se llama sustantivo? I don't know. Si se llama sustantivo. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. We're going to watch a video. And you know what? Well, I, I will tell you this after the video. Okay, so do you do you see my screen? Yes, yes. 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 Thank you. Okay. Can you hear? Yes, teacher. Did you hear the video? Oh no. Okay. No. 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 Level. We want to officially welcome you now? to advanced level. Our main goal yes. is for okay. yes, yes. to okay. convey the ideas. Sorry. So we ask you to participate not only in class with your teacher, but also participating on our discussion box. We wish you luck in this process. Hi, before you watch our video about verbs followed by gerund, I want you to work on two previous activities. Number one, complete the survey. Number two, tell us about yourself. How do you describe yourself? You may share your answers with a partner in class as well as in our discussion box. You may use these adjectives as well as these useful expressions. Now we're ready to study our topic, but before you go and watch the video, I want to tell you that I enjoy teaching. Share with us something you enjoy doing before you watch the explanation, and let's see if you know how to do it. A gerund always follows these verbs. I enjoy meeting unusual people. I dislike spending a lot of time by myself. I don't mind waiting for people. I avoid talking on the phone. An infinitive of gerund can follow these verbs. I like going to parties. I like to go to parties. I love watching movies alone. I love to watch movies alone. I hate waiting for people. I hate to wait for people. I can't stand staying home alone. I can't stand to stay home alone. A gerund is often the object of a preposition. I'm interested in meeting unusual people. Remember the gerunds are verb forms ending in ing. Gerunds after verbs. Common verbs followed by gerunds are finish, give up, can help, imagine, don't mind, keep, miss, and suggest. Other ways to use gerunds. A gerund is often the object of a preposition. Finally, we have infinitives and gerunds after verbs. Some verbs can be followed only by gerunds, some only by infinitives and some by either. Gerunds only. Avoid, dislike, enjoy, finish, mention. Infinitives only. Only, agree, hope, intend, learn, plan, promise. Either gerund or infinitive. Begin, continue, like. Remember we have just given you some examples of the verbs that you may use with gerunds Infinitives or both? How do you feel about these things? 
Discuss your answers using verbs or expressions followed by infinitives or gerunds. Number one, listen to people's problems. Number two, go to places where you have to use your English. I can't stand. Karen can follow these verbs. Verbs. I enjoy meeting unusual people. I dislike standing. Hold on. Let me check one thing. My... Give me I one second. I want to see. I enjoy go to parties. Object of a preposition. ing. Are. Finish. Give up. ing. Gerunds after verbs. Okay. Now, let me explain to you one thing that is very popular in English, but it's very informal. One thing that is very popular in English, but it's very informal, is to put ing on everything. Everything has a gerund. Like, let me give an example. Today, I was Netflixing when the ambulance came to my neighbor and I was, what happened? Did you hear what I said? I was Netflixing. So what do you think I was doing? Eight people and nobody answers. Watching Netflix. Exactly. I was watching Netflix. Now, is this formal? No. It's not formal. Right? But it's popular. So if you want, you can put an ING on, on any verb and, and um, it, it works. Okay? Like dining, right? Hmm? Like dining, having dinner. I've heard some people say dining instead of. Yeah, yeah okay, dinner. dining, yes. Yes, but remember one thing, dinner is not a verb. That's very important. Dinner is not a verb. Dining is a verb. Dining is eating, yes. What is the gerund of drink? Drinking. Drinking? Drinking, very good. What is the gerund of play? Playing. Wait, okay. okay, good. Now listen to this. What is the gerund of want? Wanting. Wanting. Can you say wanting? Why is the bad teacher? What is the gerund of want? So eat is eating, drink is drinking, go is going. So what is want? Class, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Do you yes, understand? Hear you. Do you understand me? Yes, I think. Yes, you understand um, my questions? Okay, good. We, want is one of the words that we cannot use with ing, but I'm not sure. Exactly, exactly. Yes. You can't have ing with want. Do you know why? Because it's a irregular. It's an irregular verb. Okay, good. Very good. Do you know why it's irregular? No? Why is it regular? What do you mean with because, irregular? Because, because, because you know, some people depends. say regular verbs and not and irregular verbs. Well, actually, it's actually ed. ed. Um, yeah, right. Uh, um, we're talking about ing, but anyways, you cannot you cannot put ing on want. Do you know why? No. No, I don't know. Let me, yes. <laughs> Alberto, you were going to say something? No, no, I just, I never thought about this. Okay. Why this... one thing, I never used it before, but it's yes. really interesting the way you say, because I never think even about it. I mean, they, another, I I, another, mm -hmm. another verb you, you can say. You say, I like. 
I like something. I will like something. You say that instead of I wanting something mm -hmm. because I'm uh, unusual. Yes, exactly. Let me explain why. Um, Edgardo, what verb is this? Smoke. What? Uh, smoke. Good, smoke, okay. Angelica Lasso, what verb is this? Drinking. Drinking, good. Let me see. Um, Angela de Jesus Santa Maria Trinidad Suarez. What verb is this? Writing. Oh. No, this is writing. What am I doing? There's a verb for that. Dialing? No. Texting? Texting. Texting. Or dialing. Yeah, I mean, dialing is beep, 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 beep. I'm texting. Texting. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay, good. No, you're welcome. Gerardo, what verb is this? Think. I want to go to the bathroom. I want to go to the bathroom. Okay, but let me explain why you didn't know that. Okay, okay. Okay, I will explain why. Edgardo, why did you say this was smoke? Why did you say that? Um... Uh, I think I have a real uh, in some place. Really? You read in a book what I was doing? I can't. To be honest, I can't remember. Really? I was doing this. And you said smoke. My question is, why, <laughs> why, why did you say smoke? Mm. Maybe because the you made the yes, you saw me. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. Good, Angela. Why did you say I was texting? Mm, why the question, teacher? Excuse me. Why did you say I was texting? Um. <laughs> The, uh, the, I don't know. Okay, number one. In this moment, in this moment, stop, everybody. If you do not understand, please say, teacher, I don't understand. Yes? Because if you don't understand, you will not understand. Okay, listen to my question. It's very basic. I was doing this and you said texting. My question is why did you say texting? Because, Do you understand? Okay. Because yeah, I, we understand that. Okay, thank you. Angela, do you understand my question? Because I need the testing um, with my wall and my family and my friends. Okay, listen, Angela, please, I need you to listen. I'm going to use my hands too, look. Angela, I was doing this. And I said, what verb is this? You said texting, correct? Yes. Okay, my question is, why did you say texting and not calling, example? Why did you say te texting? Um, <laughs> ¿Por qué texting no llamada? Algo así. I need you to understand my question, listen. Uh -huh. Sí, así que... 
I I don't um I don't know, understand the question complete. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay. Uh -huh. I was drinking, somebody said drinking. Smoking, somebody said smoking. Yes. Texting, you said texting. Steady or texting. Yes. Why? Because uh Uh -huh. uh, um, okay, let's listen, uh, Angela. Let me change. What verb is this? Drinking. <laughs> good, good. Okay, good, good. Um, stop, stop. <laughs> you said drinking. <laughs> good. Why? Why drinking? Why not eating? Or qué dijo drinking? Um. Uh, because I the called the uh, <laughs> very good. I uh -huh. saw I saw the verb. Uh -huh. <laughs> so listen, class. In conclusion, uh -huh. is if you see the action. Okay. 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 I, I, it, okay. It's okay. No problem. So listen, uh -huh. class. If you see the action, if you see the verb. Ing. Okay. So listen, I didn't need I didn't need to I didn't need to tell Edgardo, hey Edgardo, smoke. No, all I did was this. And Edgardo said, hey, smoking. Yes, he saw the verb. Everybody, you saw the verb, right? Claudia, I was doing this. Somebody said drinking. You see the verb. Yes. Uh I'm eating. You Everywhere, everywhere, every people you see, they're doing a verb. They're walking, they're running, they're chatting, they're sleeping. They're doing an action. If you see that, they're called action verbs, Claudia. The verbs, if you see the action, they have ing. Now, I was doing this. You know, not even what I said, right? That, you know? But actually, I want to go to the bathroom. But you cannot, you can't see the verb want. You can't. Yes. So you can't say, oh, man, I am wanting to go to the bathroom. That's the difference. That, that's when a verb is an action verb and a non-action verb. Yes? Do you understand? Yes, yeah, yes, yes, I have a question. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Yeah, talking about the same thing. I mean, this is I always ask myself or always wonder why in English you can say I am sitting here, but in Spanish it's not possible to say it that way <laughs> because I, I just say you, I can see yeah. you're sitting just there, but in Spanish it's not, it doesn't make any sense if you say it in zero. It doesn't. Oh, and you know, there are exceptions. For example, I think think is an exception because think has two two different meanings: think opinion and think think. You're like, mm, I'm thinking. Yes, because está pensar. I am thinking. Yes or no? Yes or no? And you can say, I think of an opinion. Example, example, okay? I think Bukele is a good precedent. I think Bukele is a bad precedent. In this think, I'm not using think to pensar. I'm using think of opinion. That's not no ing. Now, I am thinking. That's ing because you're doing the verb. Okay. Um, Saben que de hecho, yo siempre he querido saber esto. Yo no sé si está correcto en español decir estoy queriendo. Todos lo usamos. Hey, mira, desde hace rato que estoy queriendo ir a la playa. Lo decimos. 
Yeah, see. <laughs> but really, really grammatically, I don't know if it's correct. Creo que este hace ratos yo quiero ir a la playa. I think. Porque si es la misma regla, en inglés y español, si es la misma regla, you can't. Puedo decir, mira, estoy necesitando, se hace rato que estoy necesitando un lapicero, tener uno. You know, imagine, estoy necesitando. Really, I, personally, I don't think it's correct, pero lo usamos. Creo que es un, y siempre, siempre me digo, lo voy a buscar, lo voy a buscar, y nunca lo busco. Hasta que toco este tema. Okay, so do you understand now? Gerunds, what verbs have gerunds? Very simple class. If you see the verb, if you see the action, ing. Yes. And it's maybe 95% of all the verbs have ing. You see the action. Okay. Yes. Hello, okay, Lisa. Okay. Yes, yes. All right, all right, cool. Thank you. So now listen to what it says here. Gerunds after verbs. So these are some examples, some verbs that are followed by a gerund. Common verbs followed by gerunds are finish. Check it out. Finish. Finish. Give up. Can help. Imagine. Don't mind, keep, miss, and suggest. Okay. We understand finish, correct? Okay, if you don't talk, I'm not going to talk. I don't need to learn English, you do. I speak English, so for me, it's no problem. I don't need to talk. If you don't want to participate, okay. Who wants to participate? Please tell me. I want to. Thank you, Gerardo. Do you understand what finish is? Yes, yes. Yes, I do. Okay, yeah, everybody, we know finish. So what? Are, what is the gerund that can go after finish? Finish studying, finish working. Finish playing. Finish playing. A finish playing and go to sleep. I just finished eating. Finish yeah. eating. Very good. Thank you. Yeah. Next, we have give up. Not a lot of people understand this verb. Give up. What is give up? Like surrender, some, doing something, or quit. Overcome in a situation. Yes. Okay, good. That means to stop something immediately. Stop something immediately. Example, imagine, imagine I am a heavy smoker. I don't know, one, two, three packs a day, a day. And I go to the doctor, hi doctor. And the doctor, how are you? Oh man, doctor, I don't know. You know, I I walk two minutes and I'm tired. I don't know why, doctor. And the doctor says, you know what? You need to give up smoking. Yes, give up is to stop something, stop something. And it's, it maybe is difficult. Yes. Yes, you can. Oh, yes. Uh, you can. In Spanish, I think it's like um, me rindo. You can use. Okay. Only too. only the word give up is rendirse. Yes. But okay. when you say give up and the gerund is to stop doing something, sacrificing. Oh, okay. I'm going to give to you my, ex my example again. To quit something. Yes, 
pero with a little sacrifice because for example look i am addicted i am addicted to coffee really i i am addicted to coffee i drink i drink coffee before i go to sleep yes i drink coffee all day and coffee coffee no instant coffee i drink coffee so imagine i get something like that imagine i in my in my results i have i have esa enfermedad de huesos, ¿cómo se llama? O, osteoporosis. Ajá, uh -huh, Osteoporosis. That. Yes, and then the doctor tells me, David, you have osteoporosis. Porosis. I said, oh, okay. And he tells me, David, you need to give up coffee. Oh, that's going to be difficult for me. Maybe impossible. Maybe impossible. <laughs> So, ahí, por eso sí se give up, because when you say you need to give up in a gerund, I need to give up drinking coffee, it's a sacrifice. Yes? Oh, okay. So, for okay. example, Gerardo, if you're going to get married, you need to give up going out with your friends. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Do you get think it. you could do that? If you could do that, then you're ready. If you can't, don't get married. An example, you see, so give up with a gerund is like a little sacrifice. Imagine you go to the doctors and 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 your results you have diabetes. What do you need to give up? Sure, sure. Yeah, you need to give up eating sugar. E. That's imagine no more semita, <laughs> chocolates. Oh my God, that's so difficult. Mm -hmm. If you want to become a um, vegan, no, let's start a vegetarian. If you want to be a vegetarian, what do you need to give up? Meat. Eating meat. Give up yeah. eating meat. Okay. For example, one time I got a very, very, very good job opportunity, but I had to basically live in Mexico. So that means I had to give up living with my family here. And I said, no. Because the company will pay for me only in Mexico. If I want to take my family, I have to pay from my salary. <laughs> so they told me, look, David, we give you a good salary. Go live in Mexico, but you have to give up living with your family here in El Salvador. Can you do that? And I said, no, I can't. My son, my wife, maybe. No, I'm joking. My son, no. <laughs> okay, so next we have imagine. Who can give me imagine and a gerund after that? Angelica. Imagine thinking. Imagine thinking. Oh, that's a yeah. terrible death. Yeah, that, <laughs> yeah. No, you know, sometimes, you know, yeah, imagine sinking. That that must be a terrible death. <laughs> yes. Okay, mm -hmm. Imagine okay. traveling. But uh, can you can can you can you give me more more give me additional information to that? Imagine traveling where? To US. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes I imagine going to Auschwitz, but then no, I, maybe I, I couldn't go. I imagine myself playing football. <laughs> you imagine yourself going playing football. Okay. 
Yeah. There's a song in English. Uh, who has children here? Me. Do you know that that song in um, Baby TV? I was thinking, said, do you like broccoli? Yes, I like broccoli. Do you like pizza? Yes, I like pizza. Yeah, but he said, do you imagine eating a broccoli pizza? No, wakala. <laughs> but I said, do you imagine eating? Yeah. When you have children, you will remember me. Ah, esta era. <laughs> Yeah, it says like, do you like ice cream? Yes, I like ice cream. Do you like, I don't know, una comida así, like, do you like chicken? Yes, I like chicken. Do you imagine eating a chicken ice cream? No. <laughs> okay, so next we have, I can't help. This is a song from the group, uh, the British group. You before it, I can't help. No, falling in love. My, yeah, yeah. it's a the, good song. Yeah, but the original song is from Elvis Presley. Yeah, definitely. So you're right. Listen to what it says. Wise men say, only fools Russian. Do you understand that? Do you know what is wise men say? What is a wise man? And a smart wise? man? Mm -hmm. So in the song, Elvis Presley says, wise men say only fools rush in. Fools is like stupid. Rush is like... Solo los tontos se apresuran. Yes. So listen to that. Wise men say only fools rush in. But I can't help falling in love with you. Oh, poetic. But I can't help falling. So do you understand what he's trying to say? What do you think he's trying to say? I'm trying, I'm trying to get the point. Mm -hmm. I think he's dealing with a difficult love, maybe? No, he's saying that he understands what wise men say, but he can't help it. No lo puede evitar. That, ah. that, that's what I can't help means. Okay. Yes. It's like, imagine, imagine, like people say, no, this week I will not eat pan dulce. I will not eat. And then, I don't know, Tuesday. So, quiere budín. You know that temptation, like, I can't help it. And you eat it. So that means when you say, I can't help, and a verb with ing, that means, um, it's something very difficult for you to, that you're trying to do, but you can't. Yes? Can you repeat it, please? Okay, yeah. L let me give you an example of my, a personal example of mine. I can't help drinking coffee in the morning. At night, for lunch, anytime. No. no, like, can you tell me something that is difficult for you that you can't do? I cannot sleep, and uh, I I I cannot sleep early. Okay, but there you're saying I cannot. You're not saying I can't help. 
I can help sleeping early at night. Okay, let, let me give you an example. My wife, she tells me, oh, look, I'm going to go with my, with my friends to the mall. Yes. And I, I know what's going to happen in the mall. You know, and I said, oh, okay, good for you. Go with your friend, have good for you. And I know what she's going to do. She's going to buy something unnecessary. <laughs> yes, like shoes or a blouse or something that she doesn't need. So at night, she comes in, hi, baby, look, look, I bought shoes. Really? Another pair of shoes? And she says, I can't help it. Really? That's the expression. I know, I know, I'm sorry, but I can't help it. Do you know that kleptomano? Do you know what that is? What can't they help? Also. They can't help stealing. Yeah. Okay, so next we have don't mind. Do you know what is I don't mind? Like, I don't care? Something I don't care. Don't mind is actually something very formal to ask somebody. Angelica, if you invite me to your house, hey, we have a reunion in my house. Oh, okay. In the class, we all go to Angelica's house. But I want to smoke. And I say, um, Angelica, do you mind if I smoke in your house? Mm, I yeah. don't mind, <laughs> okay. but when I I don't agree with that action, how can I okay. say that? Okay, good. Now it's okay to say yes, I do mind, <clears throat> but okay. you can. But uh, but it's not. You will not hurt my feelings. <laughs> so you can say yes. Actually, I do mind because you know the smell. But you can you can smoke outside. Okay. Yes. That that's that's a basically te molestaría si fumo aquí. Yes. Mm. Yes, please. But it's okay, you can smoke outside, it's no problem, but not in the house. Mm. That is the expression. Okay, okay. thank so you. So then uh -huh, there are two possible answers. I don't mind and I do mind. It's like, do you have a friend that he always ate that may right? You give him a ride everywhere, but he never pays you for gasoline. And then you tell him, hey, look, I don't mind giving you a ride. I don't mind, really. But come on, help me with gasoline. <laughs> I'll take an Uber. Yes. Okay, so do you understand don't mind? Yes, I get it. Okay. Yes, let's, con Thank let's continue. Those are, the, but the, you know, those are expressions. Let's continue with. Oh man. Friends and family. So, we saw the video. Knowledge check. It says, instructions, read the dialogues and complete the sentences. If two answers are possible, write both of them. Separate both answers using, remember, uh, using this. Remember to use either gerund or infinitive is if possible. For example, Ada isn't happy when he has nothing to do. I'm sorry, Ada. Ada says, Sam 
isn't happy when he has nothing to do, Gary. I know. It really bothers him, Sam. Can't stand. What What was your answer here? Okay, if you're not gonna tell me, then I'm I'm gonna put it myself. I I write having nothing to do. Yes. Do you understand that expression? I can't stand having nothing to do. It's like no puedo soportar or no puede soportar. Soportar qué? No tener nada que hacer. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yes. yes. I am I am in that moment. Maybe I am old now. But for example, me, Sundays or Saturdays in the morning, I am like this. Like, I need to do something. I don't know, cut the grass, wash my car, paint, or something. Hmm. But I remember when I was 20, Saturdays or Sunday was Netflix, man. Watch movies all day in my bed not taking a shower until that night <laughs> but now i am at six in the morning like okay what do i do what do i do what do i do hmm. i can't stand having nothing to do okay so number one it says adam or ada sam isn't happy when he has nothing to do gary i know it really bothers him sam can't stand Let's do this. Having nothing to do. Vic, I hardly ever go to school parties anymore. June, me neither. They're not as much fun as they used to be. Vic and June avoid. What do they avoid? Going to a school parties. Going to parties? Uh -huh. Or school parties. Le apuesto que la plataforma va a... miren. Tengan en mente una cosa. La plataforma siempre falla. Y a veces, a veces, a veces... No está correcta. Sometimes. So don't worry. Okay, it says, Tina, you visit your parents on the weekends, don't you? Leslie, yes, I spend Sundays with them. I'm too busy the rest of the week. Leslie prefers? Visiting on weekends. You know, yes, yeah, she preserves she time. Pre mm -hmm, you know, that, that's what I'm saying. For me, visiting is okay. It's correct. Mm -hmm. So she prefers visiting them on Sundays. That is a valid, valid answer. But I imagine the platform is going to say she prefers spending Sundays. Sabían ustedes, es algo que quizás no sabían y se van a quedar en serio. En inglés, todos los días, nombres de días y meses llevan mayúscula. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. It's true. It's true. And in Spanish, no, you can say lunes with. Hoy es martes, you know, with that. En mi caso lo ponía en español así con mayúscula, porque sé que en inglés así, pero no es así. Pero ¿sabe qué debería de serlo? Porque 
martes Ajá. es un nombre propio. So. Ajá, entonces yo con mayúscula los meses y los días, pero no, pero no va así. Cuando uno lee, no va así. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí. Cierto. Es bien contradictorio, fíjese, porque en español, porque es nombre propio, debe de ser mayúscula. Definitivamente. Yeah. Estoy de acuerdo. <laughs> yes. Ok, number four, it says, Tom, are you, you know what? Let's do this. I have a secret button here. So, having nothing to do is the correct way. Going to parties or going to school parties. Okay, we were right. Look, we're okay. Number three, Tina uh, doo -doo -doo, visiting her parents on the weekend. Visiting her parents on the weekend to visit. Doo -doo. And ninguna puso spend. Okay, so you can say visiting her parents on the weekend. Number four, Tom, are you going to take an Italiana? You see, ahí está mal. Are you going to take an Italiana class this summer? It's not correct. It's actually an Italian class this summer. Yes, I am. I love to learn new languages. Ivy is into learning. Do you want to go rock climbing with me this weekend, Sue? I don't know. Rock climbing sounds dangerous. Sue is worried about rock climbing or going rock climbing. What sort of volunteer work do you do for the library, Celia. Celia says, I love kids, so I volunteer as a children's storyteller on Saturdays. Celia enjoys volunteering as a storyteller. Okay, now let's do let's do a practice with us. I bet or Bert. Can you tell me something Mexican people enjoy doing? I think I believe they love eating a lot of chili. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Mexicans love eating chili. Good. Angelica Lasso, can you tell me something cats love doing? Do you like, oh no, wait, no, I'm sorry, that question would be for Claudia. Claudia, can you tell me something cats love doing? Mm, cats love doing sleeping. Cats love sleeping. Okay, good. Cats love sleeping. Okay, now Angelica. Um, um Angelica, excuse me, are you married? Do you have a boyfriend? No, I'm not. You're single? Yes. What do you like doing as a single woman? Well, because, I, because imagine, if, my question was is that if you were married or had a boyfriend, I would ask you, hey, where do you, where do you like eating with your boyfriend? But okay, since you're single, what do you like doing as a single woman? Enjoy my free time. <laughs> I love enjoying my free time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, really enjoy it. Okay, good. Gerardo, what do you like doing with your children? I, I love um, playing football with my children. Oh, yeah, you play football with your children? Cool. Yes, we love it. Oh, cool. Angela. Angela, you play the guitar? Uh, I I know my my daughter is is she likes the play the guitar. Yeah, she plays rock music. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I like your daughter. What does she like playing? What does she like playing? Um, guitar and piano. She likes playing guitar and piano. Very good. Yes. 
Mm -hmm. yes. Ronald, where do you live? I live in Ilopango. In Ilopango City. What do you like doing in Ilopango? I don't go out too much, but I actually enjoy visiting the Ilopango Lake. Okay, good. How is Ilopango now? It's okay? It's nice and safe? I mean, to me, it has been safe since Always. I was born, but yeah. I, I would say Soyapango was the one. No, wait, where is... One. <laughs> no, wait, what is the name of the lake of Ilopango? Tiene otro nombre. Uh, Apulo. Apulo. That's Ilopango, no? Yes. Yeah. I it heard used it. used to be dangerous. It used to be dangerous, right? Yes, in Apulo. But now it's okay. Now it's okay, I guess. I don't live too close, but whenever I visit that place, I have never been in trouble, right? Yeah. I want to go to Apulo. I haven't been to Apulo, I think, since I was a little kid. It's it's pretty cheap. It is. I, I will, yes. you know what, I'm going to go. Good idea, thank you. Okay, <laughs> Bert, what do you hate doing? Can you tell me something you hate doing? Me? Yes. Like, let me give you an mm. example. Let me give you an example. I love cooking. I really love cooking, but I hate washing dishes. <laughs> what about you, Albert? Mm. Okay, I I I love like computer, but I hate fixing computer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you hate fixing computers. Okay. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, so let's see what's next here. Do you have any like strange habits? A strange habits, for example, I like eating, do you know those naturas, salsa naturas? I like eating them like. Uh, whenever I don't want to do something, I play any video on YouTube I like, like any podcast or something, so I can feel I can perform uh, quicker like doing dishes if I am listening to something uh, important to me I enjoy uh, doing the dishes because I am listening to something important and I feel like it's I can get chores done and I don't even realize about it yeah that's true that's a good point good okay nice Okay, now the next lesson, it says lesson objective at the end. So so before we, we continue class, um, that is the difference, okay? Uh, between uh, gerunds and infinitives. So I, I like to cook, I like cooking. I hate to wash, I hate washing. That is the difference. Hay gente que me pregunta, entonces, ¿cuál uso más? I like to cook or I like cooking? Saben cuál se usa más. I like cooking. Yes. With ING. Ajá. That's what I tell people. ¿Cómo lo ven más? I like cooking or I like to cook. I like cooking. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then I would recommend you to speak gerund. I like to cook. It's very, very formal. But I like cooking. It's okay. It's, for, it's, it's, it's acceptable. And now in English, todo mundo habla así. It's very strange that somebody says, I like to watch the sun in the beach. You know, people say, I like watching the sun in the beach. What about the bird document? Would it be okay to say documenting? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, for example, I like documenting everything I do, everything I say, I mean, you know. Or like in your job, you say, man, I like documenting every procedures, everything I do. Okay. So how have you changed? 
How have you changed? I used to. See what happened. Oh, here's my mouse. Do you understand when people say I used to? Yes, I, I understand. Yes. Okay, now listen. I used to in a verb. This is an action you did in the past. But regularly. Like habits. Yes. Si una vez fueron, solo una vez en su vida, fueron a Disneylandia de chiquito, no pueden decir, ah, yo solía ir a Disneylandia cuando era chiquito. No, ahí fue, pues, yo fui. Ahora, yo solía ir al zoológico. Okay, that's different. Because I used to is an action in the past. It's a habitual action you did in the past, but now you don't. <laughs> Do you remember what you used to buy in your school with your school money? Yes. Yes, I, re yes, I remember. I Wait. used to buy mango. I used to buy mango twists. <laughs> Bert, did you find out? Did you do some investigation about Cocomal? Uh, honestly, no, but I will, I will ask my mom because I don't. Honestly, I don't remember such a word because this is really new for me. Can you please write it down to, because I don't even know how to spell it. It sounds kind of weird. To be honest, I don't know. I don't know how, how to spell it. Hold on, let me check. Coco Mato. Okay, here you go. Maybe you visit Mexico or some places because it sounds like so typical from like Mexico or Sorry, food. No, man, that's in. Hold on, check out the chat. Here, when class finishes, watch this video. I sent you the link. Did do you see it? Yes. Yeah. Look, Coco Mal, refresco 100% migueleño. You see? You're from San Miguel and you don't know Cocomal. Oh my God. I just Google it, Google it and it has another name, Chanfaina. No, no, no. That's different. Chanfaina is food. It's different. Chanfaina, oh, okay. Chanfaina, I think is fritada. We call fritada. Yeah, I know Chanfaina. I know what is Chanfaina. And yeah, but, that, but Ch that's... Chanfaina is actually food. Cocomal is, is yeah, drink. That's food. Cocomal is a drink. You'll see the video. Okay, so can you tell me, uh, Bert, what did you used to buy in your school with your school money? Mm, I remember I used to buy some mango and cucumber. And I don't know how to say that. This is charamusca. This is because, you know, here is really hot. And we used to. And bolis. <laughs> I yeah, don't you know. know if it's usually people say popsicles. Popsicles. Yes. Angela, do you remember how many pupusas you could eat with 10 colones? Uh, yes, I am. Um, with five colones, actually. Uh, when I started, um, uh, 30 centavos, no sé cómo se en inglés. 30 cents. 30 cents. Of colon? De col Yes. Really? That's so much? In 1990. No, 1985. Oh, okay. In the 80s? Oh, okay. Because mm -hmm. I remember I used to eat maybe two pupusas and one cola champagne with five colones. In the 90s. <laughs> but you know, yeah, you know what, class? You know how everybody says that after the dollar, everything is more expensive? I I have this 
I, I, I am a member of this webpage. I don't know if you are of Facebook, se llama Antonio, El Salvador Antonio. Yeah, and, uh, and then, for example, one time I was watching and they show an old, old newspaper of biggest. And there's a picture like uh, biggest, it says like, um, Biggest, uh, the hamburger with the French fries and the soda for 60 colones, 60 colones. I mean, in, the, in 1990, 60 colones is, is, I don't know, almost, almost five, six dollars now. <laughs> almost. Almost. <laughs> No, it's it's around it's around five dollars. Because I think eighty seven colones is ten dollars, right? Eighty seven colones is ten dollars. So imagine how much is fifty. So it's maybe five or six dollars. But anyways, so I was thinking, wow, that's the mismo precio. <laughs> because right now you you go and buy a combo at McDonald's, it's around five six dollars. So some things did not change. Some things. Okay. Um, Gerardo, you are married, correct? Yep. And you live in Santana, right? Yes, in Santana. Excuse me, where did you used to go with your friends when you were single? Uh, when I was young, I, I, I loved to skate. So I used to go with my friends to a skate park or some a spot. Oh, really? You, you're, you were a skater? Nice. Yeah, yes. So do you like rock music? Yes, yes. All right. Also. What bands do you like? Um, I really love a, a band that is called Comeback Kid. Comeback Kid. Um, it's uh, it's like a hardcore punk band. Oh, oh, really? Do you know? Do you know who was my very first concert? Yes. My very very first concert. No, actually, it was my second concert. It was Nirvana. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, I saw Nirvana. Really? Yes, I saw mm -hmm. them in concert. You were really lucky. Oh, I have, I have a, I have, that day, That's I was very, I was very dark. young. I was 13. I was 13 and I was in San Francisco, near San Francisco. And that night I escaped from my house, you know, because my mother she wouldn't give me permission. So I waited for everybody. And I, and I don't know, my mother went to the bathroom and she saw that I wasn't there. So she was waiting for me all night. So me, after the concert, I opened the door, you know, and I was going to my room and my mom saw me and she threw a book at me, I think. It was a book and it hit me here. <laughs> she cut me. She was very worried, angry, everything. Wow. So every time I see this, it's because of Nirvana. <laughs> nice memory. It's a good memory, yes. It was worth it. Oh, yeah, Alberto, you told me that you're from San Miguel and you're 45, correct? Yeah, I'm 45 years old. And I love Nirvana also. Yeah, it's oh, really? my favorite band. Yeah. Ha have you always lived in 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 San Miguel? My whole life. So you know the people of San Miguel, you, you knew Scarlett, Iraeta, Michelle. I think sound familiar, like Iraeta, yeah, yeah. yeah she, she, was, she was a very, very, very beautiful girl in San Miguel. She was like really beautiful. She was very famous. No, o sea, el, el, por eso era bien conocida. She was like, oh, Scarlett. <laughs> um, I, I, I met a lot of friends in, in San Miguel. I, I, I am still in contact with friends in San Miguel. And the reason why I tell you that is because in that time, San Miguel is very small. So todos se conocen. 
but I don't know. I don't know now. Okay. Okay, class. Um, I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Lastimosamente, okay, lastimosamente, quien habló más hoy fui yo. Y no, <laughs> yeah. Y como les dije al principio, eh, yo ya no necesito hablar inglés. Yeah. Aprender. So really, I need more participation. De Claudia. Hey, teacher. Lisette. No sé si es bien. De, ah, de todos. O sea, eh, gracias, Ángela, porque me dijo dos veces, I don't understand, good. Porque a veces es bien difícil, porque yo sé que no entienden, no entienden pero estoy esperando que me pregunten. Teacher, eh, lo voy a decir en español. Muchas gracias, porque creo que es más fácil contestar cuando uno entiende y de, de, de a veces yo me siento bloqueada porque no entiendo, pero también quiero decirle que estaba como muy atenta a todo lo que estaba diciendo y la mayoría de veces le entiendo, o sea, su, su inglés, porque a veces sí, cuando dependiendo de, de cómo lo hablen, a veces cuesta, pero usted le estaba captando, he estado como muy pendiente porque sí necesito también. Sí. Entender, escuchar. El, el, el problema en inglés es que si ustedes no entienden, va a ser bien difícil uh -huh. responderlo. Es correcto. Por, por eso, a mí me ajá, pasa eso. Ajá, entonces, es, ajá, es bien importante que entiendan la pregunta y que quizá les cueste eh, la respuesta, pero. Si pero no es más fácil cuando uno entiende dar una respuesta, aunque sea Exacto. que vaya sí, tu, 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 tuviendo, qué sé yo. A, desenvolviéndose. Así que Ajá. muchas gracias. No, gra gracias a usted. Y... No, te no, y, y gracias. Yes. Sí, ah, bueno, bien en español esto. Este, sí es importante que tenemos que eh, aprovechar ahorita porque cuando comencé a trabajar en Concentrix, en el primer día que tuve que una reunión con un americano, ¿cómo le decía a él? No entiendo lo que me estás diciendo. Traducímelo. Ajá. Era imposible. Okay. De hecho, yo quería hablar en español, o sea, todos mis pensamientos estaban en español y, 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 y pues lo más que, le, por favor, háblame despacio. Es lo único que, que se le puede decir a un americano. Usted trabaja en un call center, ahora entiendo por qué su inglés es fluido y yo trato ahí de seguirlo. Sí, sí, pero es importante ahorita que, que vaya sal, sacando esa, esa duda porque ya con un americano, algunos sí son buena, buena gente, algunos no. Okay. ¿Saben algo que les recomiendo mucho? Eh, aunque parezca chistoso, les recomiendo que lean Caperucita Roja, los tres cochinitos, en inglés. ¿Por qué? Importante. Ah, para hablar. Sí, no, y la... Y, sí, porque hay, hay gente que me dice... Porque, vaya, les voy a dar un ejemplo. Una, cuando estaba una vez en presencial, le dije a una alumna, vaya, léeme eso, un libro de Mickey Mouse, y decía... La primera página decía, Mickey Mouse went to the supermarket. Eso era toda la página. La siguiente. He bought two apples and one banana. Y me dice, a teacher, esto es fácil. Y yo le digo, sí, pero es que no espero que lo entendas. Porque obviamente es fácil entenderlo. Lo que quiero es que me lo digas. Como que si se lo está leyendo un niño, si, si le ves el libro así a un niño, no, no vas a tener su atención. Así de, Mickey Mouse went to the supermarket and he bought two oranges and one banana. ¿Se imaginan? ¿Creen que se va a su hijo así? A decir, Mickey Mouse went to the supermarket. He bought one banana, two oranges. La siguiente página. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que pasa? Si el libro es que 10 páginas, ¡pum! Lo terminaron. ¿Otro libro? No. Pues van a leer ese libro. Les apuesto que a la cuarta, quinta vez lo van a estar leyendo más fluido. O mucho. O, o grábense. Grábense en su teléfono. Le dan un, y y la, la razón que les digo, caperucita roja o algo así, porque ustedes ya se pueden la historia. Entonces, eso también ayuda <ríe> a la hora de leer. Pero de verdad, intenten, hoy que tenemos tantas herramientas como YouTube y todo eso. Pero no, no van a leer Harry Potter o oh, El Señor de los Anillos, ¿no? Lean eso, pero no lo van a leer por comprehension. Lo quieran, quiero que lo lean para practicar su fluidez, desenvolverse. Porque así van a leer la primera vez. Mickey Mouse went to the store. He bought two apples, one orange. And he visited 
mini, ¿cómo se llama la esposa de mini mouse? Mini mouse. Ajá. They cooked chicken and they invited Donald Duck. Bueno, la cosa es que son 10 páginas, bien, bien corto. Y, y se van a sentir bien porque, hey, lo entendí todo, good, pero es que, vuelvo y repito lo que les dije ayer de las tres cosas, fluidez, comprehension y grammar. Aquí, obviamente lo entienden y entienden la gramática, pero lo que estamos practicando es fluidez. Vuelvanlo a leer el libro. Les apuesto que la siguiente vez lo van a leer. Mickey Mouse went to the store. Vuelvanlo a leer, pero la quinta, octava vez, ya lo van a estar leyendo fluido. Como ya se van a hacer, hey Benito, voy a leer una historia en inglés. Mira. <laughs> Mickey Mouse went to the store. He bought two oranges and one banana. Y, y así es. Eso se llama pers perseverancia. Nunca han oído un gringo decir pupusa la primera vez. No puede. <laughs> pa papusa? What? Pa pa what? Pero ya después de tanto pasar aquí o tantas comerlas, ya después dice, hey man, let's go eat some pupusas. Quizás no lo pronuncia bien. <risa> pero pupusas son tres. Pero ya, ya no dice, hey man, let's go eat some pupusas. Ya no lo va a decir así. Vamos a comer pupusas. <risa> pero ya lo hizo más fluido. ¿Por qué lo hizo más fluido de tanto decirlo? Entonces, esa, ese es el truco de, la, de, de las tres cosas que le mencioné ayer que tienen que estar así igual. La más fácil es la fluidez. La más fácil de, de, de mejorar. Y porque la, la comprensión y, y la gramática, yo creo que la comprensión a veces es lo más difícil. Con que a nosotros que hablamos español, yo me acuerdo que una vez estaba trabajando en una empresa de, de traductor. Y detestaba cuando me caía alguien de la República Dominicana o Puerto Rico. Like, oh, no. Porque me acuerdo que decía, hola, ¿cómo puedo ayudarle? Yo voy a ser su intérprete del día de hoy. Por favor, le pido que me hablen frases cortas. <ríe> ¿Está bien? Sí, me, ok, cuéntame, ¿qué pasa? Bueno, fíjate que iba yo, blah, 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 y te empiezan a... Blah, blah, blah. Like, what the... No les entendía nada. Y eso que somos nativos español. Así en inglés también. Hay bastantes acentos. Entonces es bien difícil la comprensión. Pero es mejor. pues ¿Cómo practican comprensión? ¿Se acuerdan que nuestros padres siempre decían. Ah, la música viejita era la mejor. Es cierto. Escuchen música de los 50 para atrás. Hoy con Alberto que estamos hablando de Elvis Presley. Wise men say only. Y las canciones solo duran dos minutos y eran bien simples. De, bien, bien fáciles de entender. Y a eso oigan, no oigan Eminem. Mm. O sea, si quieren estudiar comprensión, no, no oigan Eminem. Más que ese hombre tiene récord de. Ya han oído, ¿cómo se llama esa? Rap God, que tiene récord de. que habla más rápido de la historia. Blu, 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 saber qué dice. ¿Quieren practicar eso? Yo les recomiendo, si van a ver tele, vean Toy Story. Si van a leer libros, lean eso. Si van a oír música, escuchen música de los 50, aunque no les guste. Pero igual es bonito, la música en inglés de los 50 es bonita. 50, 60, antes que entre la era hippie. Porque la era hippie ya cuando ya, ya, ya todos eran fumados, ya, ya hablaban astralistas. Como los Beatles, hay, hay dos Beatles. Están los Beatles Pop. Como, listen, do you want to know a secret? Vaya eso. Y están los Beatles después de la droga. Este. Ya cantando, el, que están en un submarino amarillo. My yellow submarino. Eso no lo van a entender. Porque ni ellos entienden. Hasta ellos dicen, no sé qué estábamos escribiendo. Estábamos bien drogados. Entonces, sí, le escuchen mucha música de los 60 para atrás. Súper buena. Muchas gracias. Y, y la pueden ver en YouTube, hasta pueden poner subtítulos, porque sale la letra. Y vuelvan a oír, y vuelvan a oír, y vuelvan a oír, hasta que se les quede. 
¿ya? Uh -huh. Esta es una experiencia, por ejemplo, es que yo, yo veo mucho a mi hijo, o sea, mi hijo de tanto ver cosas como las aprenden, como el, el, la naturaleza del ser humano es así. Y uh, también así es aprender el idioma. Ok, so. Thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Thank you so much. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 B